All right, everybody. Hello. Welcome to episode four of Tipsy Talks. My name is Brilliant, and this is Dark Ryoji. And joining us today is. I was told to say my name is Miss Pika. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ! I'm being held hostage. Whatever. I'm being held hostage, and my name is. I know, right? Please <laughs> give us money. Um. So today we have some four new interesting news stories. And uh, starting off today will be uh, a New Jersey scoutmaster fighting off a bear with a fucking hand. Apparently this guy thinks that he is either in Elder Scrolls or I don't know what else. Like, Wait, say know. it again? So a New Jersey scoutmaster fought off a bear with a hammer. Was it like a sledgehammer? <laughs> I don't even think that it was 192 that much. damage like, all the way, bro. Like, Spectacular. <laughs> this is Fallout. So, like, literally, this guy was going like caving, and uh, apparently, what's he just, caving? Like, he was just going and searching through caves. Why? That's because crazy. that's what scouts do. I don't fucking know. The fuck's a scout? Woo! <laughs> it's just fucking like. Like ah! literally, have you never lived in America? Like, is this you know fucking Boy Scouts? Like, no, no, is this fucking Minecraft? Like, he just goes around and like walks around. <laughs> yeah, and like, see. oh look, he I'm, was gonna, gathering. I'm gonna, you know. He was I'm gonna kill that bear and gather meat. <laughs> the most he was gathering meat and ore the <laughs> most, to build a nether portal. <laughs> the most interesting thing is his name was Steve. <laughs> no, it was not actually Steve. His name was Christopher. Anyways. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> I know, right? Um, so anyways, he was just like basically scouting out like caves and shit. And I guess like a bear pulled him into a cave. I don't know how that hey, happened. He's fucking I, I, He's like in his I'm home. A, I'm a bear. The, bear. the bear's just like, this is my home. You know, I'm just chilling with my cubs. And a fucking guy pops out of nowhere and comes into my oh, cave. I'm a and then he, bear. And then he fucking hey, boy. Be- <laughs> I don't know. No, but anyways, he was just scouting out caves and uh, apparently like a bear dragged him in and he uh, I him. wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> Probably to fucking eat his ass. But anyways, apparently he fought it off with like just a hammer. So uh it's better than a toothpick, I guess. So while he was getting dragged in, he apparently turned to the other scouts and he was like, Go get help! As he's getting dragged <laughs> in. I can only imagine. There like, were hey, other boy, people fucking Help me! <laughs> The guy probably like turned to scouts and was like, "Help me!" <laughs> but you know, it was probably like in the movies so, that he's just uh, like cops did crawling come. for his life, and he's just getting dragged in, and everybody's like, "No!" And then they do nothing, but you know, and stare you know at that him. one Hispanic kid, poor <laughs> kid, <laughs> Maria. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah. Um, so yeah, the guy just gets dragged into the cave. He fought him off with like a hammer. Like, apparently, that's the only thing they had on him to fight back with. And, uh, that and a stick of Like, did he kill the bear? Did he injure it? Did... He did not kill the bear, but he did get away from it. Uh, apparently, so this is like the bear's hibernation season. So I don't know why I'm wondering what side he used of the hammer. Like the flat side, or you know, like the hook side. Was he driving nails <laughs> into the bear's head? No. I'm pretty sure that he was just hitting him with whatever fucking side he could. I'm pretty sure he hit the bear with a handle if he could. I don't think he it wasn't even a shit. hammer, it was a shoe. <laughs> but uh, apparently, uh, he obviously got away because, you know, the story has I wonder, like, happened. if he hit it in the face or, you know, like, in the body. He uh, apparently was taken to the hospital for, you know, injuries and whatnot, but uh, he seems well, to be fine. Duh, it's a bear. Like,. That's why you don't fucking go in caves! Fucking, did you learn your lesson? Like, tomorrow he's gonna be out of the hospital and be like, Honestly, I don't. Let's go caving, guys! Let's Honestly, go into random ass caves with lesson. bears! Like, what the fuck possibly could you find in a cave that'll be worth it? Like, are you looking for something in specific? Honestly, just because he's in the scouts and whatever, I don't think he learned his lesson and he'll probably be attacked by a fucking bear. <laughs> but, uh, we on to our next story. So, in, uh, farting news, a woman was arrested because she was fighting with her husband who just would not stop farting. That's a fart noise. <laughs> exactly. So, this woman... Uh, was apparently uh, complaining to her husband who 
just would not start with the soft, with the uh, flatulence. And uh, eventually she just uh, insinuated a fight with him. And uh, so the story says that she eventually kicked him out of the fucking bed to try to get him away. Like, was he just, you know, farting under the covers and, like, smothering her with it? Yes, yeah, she was like, all the words! You know, he was, like, intentionally farting and, like, shoving it in her face. Or... You could imagine that he was That's literally just, like, Dutch ovening her and, you know, just fart and then, like, drag her under the covers, like, Like, stay, could she bitch. not, like, get out of bed or something? Was she that lazy or, like, was it her fault for feeding him beans or something, you know? Like, you know, the night before, they just had chili. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> it just happened. Yeah, let's, let's eat some chili tonight and see where the night goes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, apparently, just this woman would not, like, give in to, like, any sort of, like, police force. It says that uh, she was, like, sprayed with pepper spray. And I basically, like, she was just trying to keep her husband away from herself. So, uh... Was he, like, following her, like... I could imagine, uh, you ever seen that scene from, uh, Family Guy where, uh, Peter follows Meg around the kitchen and just follows <laughs> in her general direction? I could imagine that scene, just her husband chasing her around the fucking table farting. Like, I can't, like, <laughs> I can't think that the police took them seriously, like, I can almost imagine, up, like, have you ever called the police farting. and, like, just had them show up, like, 40 minutes later? This seems like a story that would get the police's attention right. in, like, 10 minutes. Right now, my husband as far as and I can't even. And they were immediately <laughs> over even. there. <laughs> no. <laughs> but, uh, terrible husband for that. Uh, in, uh, smuggling news, and the smuggling news that has to do with uh, more butt stuff, there was a butt man. Stuff. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> there was a man arrested in uh, Sri Lanka for uh, smuggling gold bars. In his fucking room. You mean Uranus? <laughs> yes, it, well, more like his anus, but yes, Uranus. <laughs> gold bars? I know, my, like, I, I know my solar system. How big are gold bars? Like this big? So, gold that bars. Big? Gold bars <laughs> like are that typically thick? like 500 gram bars of fucking gold. So, they're pretty large fucking <laughs> bars. So like, how this man got it, this shit up Wouldn't it have been easier KY to like, you know, just way. like cut a piece of himself open, shove the bar in, and you know like what, honestly, fucking sew it back up? I think found an easier way to fucking do it. But <clears throat> this man was so determined to get these gold bars through smuggling that he Like how far did he have to like stretch out his butthole to just like shove a Jeez. brick in. Like I don't understand how somebody's butt could just like open like like square like and then was Obviously like, did you, he, did you've he, never seen a gaping Did, did, did he have help or something? Was let's, he like, hey wife, come here and shove these bars up my ass? Let's just say if this butthole was a 90s uh, toy, it would be Stretch Armstrong. <laughs> <laughs> Or, you know, just about any 2000s porn star. Because seriously, Wait, where did he get the seen... gold bars? Were they his gold bars? Or like, so, fucking uh, stolen gold bars? These gold bars were... Like, basically just the uh, gold bars that you could get from, like, Dubai, Singapore. Just about any place. Like, he couldn't transfer them into money or something? I don't know the exact details because this thing doesn't really go into details as to why he was trying to smuggle these gold bars. I would assume that because of the area that he was going to, like, he thought that he could essentially get more money out of these gold bars. Like, that is an extreme that I don't think any of us here would go to, like, just shoving gold bars up your ass. Are you ass. sure? Well, Are you sure you don't want to shove gold bars up your ass? You know, you might well, like it. About you that. might like it since you haven't tried it before. No, no, no. It's, you know, it's it's just like I know how I thought about the DK Whopper, you know? I didn't know if I liked it until I tried it, but... You know, I know the old adage saying, you know, don't knock it till you try it, but honestly, I'm gonna knock this one before I try it. <laughs> You sure? Got a gold bar over there. <laughs> so our last story here is, uh, so this person by the name of Brody Jenner 
was quoted as saying, it smelled terrible. And by the way, this episode seems to be a really, like, fucking, like, either anal or, like, vaginal <laughs> thing. It just seems to be a very, like, private area, human-esque thing. But he was quoted as saying, it smelled terrible on the occasion of the first time I went down on a girl. And, like, literally, I don't know what the fuck this girl was, like... I understand the chemistry of, like, human beings and, like, what makes them taste or smell in a certain way, but... It smelled terrible?! <laughs> what the fuck?! Somebody else, please. Okay, my question is, is he related to, you know, any of the Jenners, like, Kardashians, oh. like, you know, um... What's his name? Bruce you know, Jenner? Bruce Jenner. Anybody go ahead and go <laughs> look up Bruce Jenner on your iPhone by asking Siri. But anyways, um, I'm actually not sure about uh, his relation to the Jenners. But, uh, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> so it but just like, goes did on he, say, Did like, he go down and, like, do anything? Or did he was just like, oh no! He was just like, horrible smell! I oh. am out of here! <laughs> So, by the looks of this article, it literally says that he went on to say, and I quote, Oh, I was terrified, I just closed my eyes and just went. <laughs> and then this smelled terrible. Two thousand leagues under the sea. You know what? I would honestly uh, give Ariel a pass on this one just because of this guy's description. This girl must have been just like the most like careless Dirtiest, fucking person. Ratchet, nasty. Just eating all the fucking Never junk showered. Foods. Like. <laughs> 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 but, uh. You know, I've never had this sort of experience, but I hope that I never have this sort of <laughs> like, experience. Either. I like, since like I was, feel sorry for this guy. Since it was his first like, time, maybe terrible. he was just, you know, like taking what he could get. Like maybe it wasn't a very attractive, <laughs> clean girl. Like I don't know. Now you say that, but <laughs> I've been with some creatures, and uh, you know what? I could never fucking say. That I was like, <laughs> look, we've all been drunk before, but uh, I could never say that it was terrible. So this Maybe man you're must too drunk to remember. You know what? I have never been too drunk to remember. Really. But uh, <laughs> I can say honestly that I've never been in the situation where this man was in to publicly go out and say that this was just absolutely fucking terrible. <laughs> like, I wonder if she sees this article, like, online and is like, oh my god, that was me. Or if she's like, oh yeah, that was me! You know, like, I so I would hope that she does not go on there and goes like, Oh yeah, that was me! Like, fucking super fucking happy. I hope that she sees it and goes like, Shit, I need to clean this fucking <laughs> shit up then. I don't know, you never know with people. You never know which way it's gonna go. <laughs> I, I could also imagine her being like, What are you talking about? This is just absolutely normal. Or she'd be totally be like... <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> that's so disgusting. Spaghettios. I don't know, maybe On she that... had like something down there, like Please yeast the infection or something. <laughs> something gross. I don't know what was going on with this woman, but just please, for the love of God. Um... How old were they? Like, was he like 16, 18, 35? So, it doesn't really like state their ages or anything like that. And I'm pretty sure that if you just go ahead and look it up, you could probably find who these people that they're talking about is. But, uh, other than that, you know, let us know in the comments down below if you've ever had this sort of experience, because I've never had this sort of fucking experience. Leave a comment down there. And, uh, while you're down there, just go ahead and, uh, take a, take a good like, whiff and comment. clean up down there. And then comment, 
Hopefully you'll leave a good comment because you know you, you feel good after you've cleaned yourself. P word. Clorox bleach. <laughs> Jesus, please do not bleach your genitals. Uh, but do go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe on this video if you enjoyed the content within it. And uh, that was the light part. <laughs> Jesus Christ, how much have you had to drink? Anyways, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, make sure to follow us on uh, any social media networks that we provide down in the description below. And uh, we'll see you on the next episode of give us money. Talks. And apparently give us money. I'll drink to that! I don't have a drink. Go ahead. Oh, it smells racket. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no! <laughs> Straight up Jack and Coke. Hell no! Don't you dare give me that again!